Hey everybody, Jochen Hyden here. I have the combat replay for the next turn. It should be the 17th of December. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to see the next disaster that I, I get myself into today. So grab your popcorn, grab your beer or water, whatever you drink, and let's watch this together. Let's see how bad I do today. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so we lose another base in the Philippines and we capture back a base in China. So this is my uh, my subs in the Pescador channel. All right, he's coming aboard at Sarong. We saw that happening last turn. That will definitely fall. Okay, poor Sturgeon. He just can't seem to catch a break here. It's already heavily damaged from yesterday. Um, I had tried to disengage here, but for whatever reason, it's probably damaged so badly now that it can't get out of the area. Yeah, that's probably going to be the end of the Sturgeon. It was already damaged yesterday. Man. These, my poor subs just can't catch a break this campaign, right? Oh, it's finished. She's finished. Yeah, six more hits, heavy damage. The surgeon is definitely going down this turn. This is out here at Hawaii. So we don't do anything there. Ooh. Ooh. Did you guys see this? Okay. So we have the Gudgeon fire multiple torpedoes at the Ak Akatuki Maru, literally dumping its entire load of torpedoes. Oh, hey, we got one. Hey, here we go. So we've had multiple hits and no explosions. So this thing fired. Oh, geez. I don't know how many torpedoes it fired. It sounded like it fired 20 of them, right? It's attacking on the surface because he's unescorted out here because he didn't expect this here. And the Akatuki Maru takes one torpedo with heavy damage. And it sinks. We get a tanker, guys. Y-175 swings and misses at Palmyra. That, that 175 has been shooting at this poor Robin all week. Uh, it's going to run out of torpedoes at this rate. So keep it up, man. All right. It's a little bit of a... Oh. We have a bombardment mission going on at Kagayan. Let's keep a close eye out for what ships are actually firing here. Udachi, so these this he's he's really mad, he's really mad about what we've been doing to him. Given that this is maybe one to two light cruisers and a bunch of destroyers, I'm not expecting a whole lot of damage at Kagayan over this, but it's definitely going to be a nuisance. Hopefully, we don't lose too many aircraft here. Let's go ahead and fast forward through this. So basically, he does almost nothing, which is great. And also, do you guys see anything missing from this list? I don't see a Naka, because I think it's sank. All right, so one one light cruiser missing from that pack from yesterday. That's a good sign. So this is north of uh, Pearl Harbor here. 
I-174 wasting torpedoes on one of our destroyer uh, mine layers. Oh! And even the Dutch torpedoes have no luck. So we got torpedoes launched at this AK here, the Zuiko Maru, and we get we get a hit with no explosion. All right, let's see if uh, S-36 can dodge this. His anti-submarine work has been decidedly better than ours this entire campaign. He's damaged several of our subs, sank probably at least two now. So these are two torpedo boats. Okay. Mm, you saw that? Kate's flying around. A lot of sightings here. Looks like he's moving in towards. Looks like he's moving in towards Surabaya. Wow, he's moving in. Oh, wow. Check that out. He's moving in his submarines very close to Pearl. Alright, a wasted sweep at uh, Changsha. A sweep over Nanyang. Oh, I don't know what he was expecting to find there. More Changsha. Oh boy. And here come the Bettys. <sighs> Gonna hit Manila hard. Wow. That was a very impressive result. So I have two armored units there to try to hold Manila long enough to get the subs out. And he takes out a ton of them with this strike. Okay. Oh, 1-0 versus four of these. What do you think is going to happen? I, I, I say the zero kills all of my planes. Maybe not. Okay, well, we get out of there without taking too much damage. That's great. Uh-oh. Lodric, what happened here? You weren't ready for that, were you? <laughs> Come on, P-40s. Let's do it. Yes. This is outstanding. All right. So I moved my P-40s up from central China up up here towards Lo Yang area because I knew that he was going to keep sending. Oh, yes. I knew he was going to keep sending bombers at this unit south of Kuwait. So I think we caught him on off guard here. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, that's at least six aircraft now. I've, I've lost track. Okay, so... I think we shot down at least six aircraft out of that, and I know he was not ready for that. All right, so it's saying five. I counted more than that, maybe maybe six or more. We take very few casualties on the ground, but we definitely scared Lodric a bit. We take almost no casualties here because this terrain is beneficial to us. Georgetown's going to get hit again. Yeah, he's just going to keep softening that up for coming in. Light strike on units right here near Xinyang. We take no losses because the terrain is, is good for us. All right, here's like some ground strike action north of Malacca. This is just a blocking unit that I have on the ground here. We take some light casualties. And he's going to keep hitting it again. No losses.
That's a surprising amount of casualties from Sonya. Okay, let's go, Catalinas. Give me something good here. Oh, the Naka! The Naka is still alive! Look at this! It didn't sink. Maybe it will now. Yes. The Naka's down. Okay. So we didn't get it last turn, but we definitely got it this turn. So that means that the sounds I heard of a shipping of a sinking ship last turn were probably one of his destroyers. So now we know for sure that the Naka's dead. Excellent. And we got some 139s attempting at a valiant attack here. We miss. And that's at turn 8. It was the Akatsuki. Or Akatsuki, if you will. Oh, here we go. So, my uh, Dutch Brewsters from Minato hit the Akatsuki with a single bomb. And I saw a reference to a... Uh, one of his 5-inch gun turrets being destroyed. So that's going to send it back home for repairs if he wants that fixed. Okay. This is at Sin Kawang. We have the Sendai. So just the Sendai at Sin Kawang. We don't do anything to that. Then we have Swordfish coming in now. Probably with bombs. Oh, when we get a hit into the Sendai. All right. Nice job, Swordfish. Okay, so Swordfish take no losses. We put a bomb in the Sendai. It's on fire. That's going to send it back for repairs, I hope. All right, Lodric, you're getting a little too aggressive, man. I think you're underestimating me. You need to back off a little bit. You're coming in too hot. Uh-oh. These Blenums are angry. They smell blood in the water. Come on, let's get some in there. Come on. Okay, so we have the Jinsu. We missed that. These Blenums are not particularly well trained for naval attack. So I'm not entirely surprised that we're missing these. So, so far we've got the Jinsu and the Sendai spotted off of Sinkawang. Ah, and then we got the Catalinas coming in again. All right, and we missed the Satsuki. I believe this was part of the escort for the Naka. Hmm. All right, I think he's wise to us at Lo Yang now, so we're probably going to lose these I-15s here. Yep. Okay, so we're going to have to come up with another plan for Lo Yang. He's get, we've been found out. Oh, come on, Porpoise. Get in there. All right, so already I'm seeing some issues with... Uh, with things going on with his subs in Hawaii. Now we know where they're at. And unfortunately, it looks like our afternoon strikes aren't going to materialize. And he's continuing to sweep Kukong. I don't think he realizes that he's still got those going there. We moved out of there like a week ago. Okay, PBYs wants some more. Yeah. Swing and a miss so far on the Satsuki. Miss again. All right. Well, good try, guys. This time around, they attack with bombs. I'm not quite sure why. Oh. So it looks like the Hiryu 
got Hiryu long range cap. It's left over planes from the Ryuzo, which was uh, damaged earlier. And these clods are probably from one of his light carriers. So we're doing our best to get through to this. God, these, these Dutch Brewsters are such garbage. Very unimpressed. We get through. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's Weho. Okay. And it looks like we missed the Zuiho, but now we know where it's at. Nothing to see here. Alright, so we lose at least two aircraft, probably more. We spot the Zuiho. We attack it, but miss. We're going to come in again. No escort. We don't get through. We turn away. But we're going to keep coming at them. Alright, let's just skip to the fun part here. Do we get through? We get through. Vilda Beast coming in. Give me something. Give me something here. Oh, here you spotted as well. All right. So now we have the hear you. The whole show and the hear you. Okay. So we have three carriers spotted right here. Now we lose multiple aircraft. Don't get through. All right. But we're not done yet. More build beast trying to get through here. Looks like 12 total. We're going to try to make it in. Come on, guys. Give me something here. Alba spotted. Hmm. Complete misses there. All the way around. So Tayo, Alba, Kinugasa. This is a large fleet here. Swordfish taking another swing at things here on the Sendai. And we miss. So now, he's coming in on a raid on Surabaya, and we put up every fighter we've got. So, now let me demonstrate to you how much better the Zero is from our fighters. He will probably slice through every aircraft we have here. It's like the the zeros are completely impervious to our to our gunfire. It sure would be nice if our fighters could do something here. Yeah, we fire, nothing happens. He fires, we lose aircraft. That's how can they suck that bad? All right, let's just get to the chase here because this, I'm already not liking how this is going to go here. Yeah, he just completely slices down all of my cap aircraft. Sun Chase is probably going to sink. Yeah, so our completely ineffective f f cap. We have multiple aircraft up and do nothing to him. Sun Chaser is definitely going to sink. Man, it's it's almost laughable how useless the Dutch and British bu uh, Brewster Buffaloes are. There goes the Sun Chaser. S-36 wastes some torpedoes on a destroyer. And then he does the same to us. Oh, 
Oh, there's Beaufort. Ooh, we got some big shits coming in there. This is an amphibious assault. He's just going to keep rolling up the coastline here. Wow. That's not going to go well. Hello, At all. Okay, so... This is your enemy I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but it did. So... We were not able to hold Manila because he came in with lots of units and um, he disrupted us with the big bombing strike and then all of the subs that we had in port basically scuttled. I tried to get them out of port but I couldn't get them out in time. We lose completely, we lose tons of vehicles that are precious to our defense um, and we, we inflict basically no casualties on him in the process and all the subs that were left in manila ended up getting scuttled which honestly isn't the worst thing that could happen because he doesn't get nearly as many points from the scuttling and most of them were so badly damaged that i doubt i could have gotten them very far anyway without them sinking at sea in which case i believe he gets full points for that so uh if we got to scuttle him it's better than him sinking them outright and taking all the credit right Okay, this 116th division should be successful here. Right. And Sarong will definitely fall. Hmm. Well, so all the all the last of the subs in Manila are done. And I probably ended up wasting those two armored units in Manila trying to hold it, thinking I could. So now it's, we basically lost those. So we have nothing to combat his armor, effectively. Not a good day for us. Had a, a, we had a, a little bit of success on his shipping, but not... It's quite disproportionate to what, you know, what he did to us. Hmm. Well, we'll take a look at the uh, intelligence report and analyze the situation, which I am sorry to say is looking quite grim. Hello, and I'm back with the turn, the full turn, and the intel analysis. Uh, right now, I'm leaving you with this picture here. This is something very solemn that I see in the Solomon Islands. But we'll get to that. Let's look at the information. Alright, so aircraft losses. This last turn, we did not have a great day in the air. So, we lose a total of 14 of the Dutch Brewster Buffaloes. Uh, 7 Ops losses and 7 to air to air. Now on the flip side, we had a really good day in China. We shoot down 7 Sonias. And it looks like 2 Marys. That was over uh, um, Kwai Tay. We also lose additional four 139 WHs, two shot down and two ops, three Vilda Beasts, three I-15s. He loses two Pete Scout Planes to uh, op losses and a couple of vowels as well. One zero. Overall though, we lose 28 aircraft to his 14, which is not a very good trade. Two to one is not what I'm looking for right now. For pilots lost, um, of those 28 aircraft losses, we only lose 9 pilots out of action. 
and with that only five are KAA and four are wounded so we did retain quite a few of our pilots which is cool I think a lot of our guys that were shot down were shot down over friendly territory so we can recover them uh, the same is probably not the true for his pilots um, ground losses we took a bad beating this turn um, Manila fell uh, we had some other losses in China so our army loss points continue to, to creep upwards in a negative way uh, ships lost was another not great turn so let's take a look at that so last turn um, with the fall of the Philippines all of these damaged submarines in, the, in Manila Bay could not get out of town in time. I tried, but they were just um, just too badly damaged. So these were all scuttled in port. But of course, he's going to get uh, most of the, all the credit for them. Normally, I thought they would say scuttled here, but they don't. They were scuttled, but you know, maybe I had to click the scuttle button to make that happen. We also lose this uh, Sun Chaser tanker near Surabaya because he pushed his aircraft carriers in closer. So really a bad day for us. Uh, I tried my hardest to save these subs, but it just didn't happen. You know, it, I guess we should be happy we got out of there what we did. Um, but on the flip side, our torpedoes decided to work this last turn, and we end up finishing off the Naka. Which I thought I got last turn, but apparently I didn't. But we finished it this turn for sure. We saw it sink. We also engaged this uh, Akatuki Maru tanker over near um, Kwajalein. Somewhere over here, I think. Eb Eb near Ebidon, in this area. So, we sh I think the sub fired almost all his torpedoes to do it, but if we did do it. The ship doesn't count for much, but it's still cool to see that our... Um, our submarine warfare um, campaign is underway. So that's the ship losses. Let's take a look at um, what we got coming in for aircraft. We got another P-40 unit coming in on the um, eastern USA. In the next few days, we're going to have a PBY Catalina unit at Batavia. And, some, and finally... In four days, we'll have a hurricane unit coming in at Cape Town, which we're going to immediately ship out and get into action. And here's the rest of the stuff coming in in the next 10, 12 days. For ship availability, we should be having a few ships coming in here soon. Nothing necessarily noteworthy. Though. A lot of AKs and transport ships, things of that nature. What I'm really looking forward to, though, is this guy, the Yorktown. We should be getting him in about 12 days. And we need him. We need him badly. Him, her, it. We need it badly. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, let's look at the um, ground reinforcements. So the only thing that's going to be at all useful to us anytime soon in the next three days will be this field artillery regiment at Baton. The rest of this stuff is coming in at like the West Coast, things like that. Um, and the only stuff that I could actually send out into action is going to be stuff that says, it doesn't have an R next to its name, right? Anything that's a specific fleet, Southwest Pacific, something like that. Those are units that I can ship out. Anything else is going to be restricted to an area and I'll have to pay political points to get it out of there. Okay. So that's our, that's our intelligence report for this last turn. Let's take a look at the SIGINT. You guys can read along with me as I scroll down here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really nothing super noteworthy here. Nothing that really gives us a whole lot of information about where his next moves are going to be. So, okay. Um, we'll first do the ops report real quick. It's maybe hard for you to read. I'm just quickly scrolling through. Doesn't look like we were able to make any aces out of the uh, P-40 unit quite yet. Mm 
Mm hmm. Mm hmm. A lot of written off uh, Brewster Buffaloes. And I don't exactly know what happened there. They must have been so badly damaged dealing with those um, zeros near Surabaya that they just could not be recovered. And that's a big shame because we just can't afford to be wasting aircraft like this right now. Mm hmm. There we go. These are all of our subs that were scuttled at Manila. So, according to the manual, a scuttled ship is worth 10% less victory points than its normal victory point value if it's scuttled. So, that should be like 0 0.7 points off of every one of these ships, which I guess is better than I'm just outright sinking, right? He also captures Sarong. We upgrade some fortifications, we upgrade some units. All right, I think that's it. So let's do some analysis here. Over in Pearl Harbor, we have a little bit of an issue because he's actually moving his submarines back into the immediate area of Pearl, which I didn't think he would do. So we're going to have to retract some of our ASW assets and kind of build up a ring around Pearl Harbor again. I guess I don't really need them out that far because I don't have ships coming in from that direction. So... I'm going to start collapsing in my ASW task forces to cover the approach, the approaches that I have with ships coming in. Because I don't really need... Now, in hindsight, I didn't really need these guys up here. I was just chasing these subs to hope to get a kill on on. But what I really need is to suppress them around here. So I'm going to be retracting all of these ASW task forces. Um, in China, we had a pretty awesome day dealing with the uh, bombers that were attempting to attack this unit right here. So I had P-40s here in uh, Luoyang. And if we take a look at their pilots, these guys are getting pretty good, right? We have a fair amount of experience building up with all these guys getting all these kills here. So this unit has shot down 32 aircraft for a loss of only... Four pilots and four aircraft over the campaign. Pretty incredible performance. So what we need to do is preserve this unit at all costs and not let them uh, get caught up in something, right? Anyway, good job, P-40s. We lost a battle here, but that's not overly concerning. That was clear terrain, which is bound to happen. We'll start getting this guy moving here to join his buddies. Overall, though, things in China are, you know, stagnant for now. Waiting for the Kuangtung Army to show up. <coughs> uh, Mo Mine, Rangoon, doing great. Nothing to report there. So we had a lot of action. A lot of action this last turn in Dutch East Indies. A lot of air attacks for our aircraft. Um... We damaged a light cruiser here at Sinkawang. So that that was interesting. I'm, I'm curious what exactly he's trying to do here. I don't know if he's going to try to shell this or or what, but he's got a a light uh, surface combat task force here. I just I don't know what he's trying to do with that. Um, we just spotted this unit here. It seems to be a small task force. I'm wondering if it's what was in Kagayan coming down this way and then over here is where we actually fi finished off the Naka with our PBYs so what I think this was was an escort unit to start sending the Naka back home but we caught up with it at, here near Cebu and we killed it so I'm not sure if these are two completely different units or fragments of the same I'm thinking that because he also hit us with the shore bombardment here at Cagayan but it was rather ineffective all right. Um, so here's our big problem right now. Oh, he also took Sarong over here. Here's our here's our problem now. This is his carrier task force, which has at least three to four carriers in it. We spotted the the um, Zuiho, the Hiryu, and maybe the Tayo during the last combat phase. 
we sent out some aircraft to attack these and they were almost all shot down defeated by his cap and then on top of that he sent out a wave of vowels to take out a ship we had here we put up a massive cap they were all decimated by 16 zeros so completely disappointed with the performance of the aircraft at Surabaya they did not perform well at all and now um, if he were smart he'll do a port strike here because I have some ships that I I'm afraid to have them leave the port because they're just going to be out in the open. So I've got ships stuck at Balak Poppin and Surabaya, and I can't put them in a task force because he'll just strike them. So we need this thing to go away. It's got to go. He needs to move it off to rearm it, refuel it, so we can have a window of opportunity to get some ships out of here. That's all I want to do now is move ships out. But I can't do it as long as this carrier task force is in place. Over here in the Philippines... We had another bad day. Manila fell. We lost all those subs that were there, right? And uh, on top of that, I had two of my best armored units here, and they got blasted by his bombers coming in from San Fernando, and finally by three different armored units that were in Manila. So they've retreated back to Clark. So we're run out of room now. It's Clark and Baton, and that's it. Once those two finally fall, we're finished. So I can only hope that we can hold as best as possible here for the next few weeks. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I really hope we can. But things aren't looking good in Luzon. And Kagayan, again, he tried to do a bombardment there, but didn't amount to much. And we did, in fact, finish off the Naka with our PBY. So that was good. All right. So now... The grand finale. This is our next problem, as if we don't have enough. Remember how I was uh, talking about the last turn where I thought that his carriers had gone off to? Well, I was completely wrong. My original hypothesis, which I I abandoned because it had seemed like it had taken too long for him to show up, has come true. So this is that carrier task force fragment that broke off from the Kido Butai about a week ago. I suspected initially that he was still going to start coming for Port Moresby and sure enough here it is and he's basically one day sailing away from being within striking range of my ships here so the jig is up the party's over um, there's going to be no new ships going into Port Moresby because as long as this carrier task force is operating here we cannot get ships in and out it's just too risky he can come out of even if he goes to Rabal he could come out for one turn, strike us, and get back in. And there is nothing we can do to stop him. So this is really the worst case scenario for us. He's got all of the important areas covered right now. And I have nothing that I can send against him to stop it. So this is really bad for us. I wanted more time at Port Moresby to build it up. But it's, I'm just not going to get it. So that's the situation now. Uh... This is only December 18th, and I feel like we're in a dire state, a dire predicament. He's so spread out. He He's covering all the bases with, with carriers, and it's just preventing me from doing anything. So uh, just keep watching. Next turn should be really good, too, because I'm sure something will come of this carriers here as well as these ones here. He's going to start doing heavy strikes on us if we're going to lose big. I was trying to avoid it, but I can't. So that's what we got. Wish me luck, guys. It ain't looking great right now. Have a good one.